Hello again everyone, uh, Alan back once again for another in my series of deck reviews. And what I have today is the newest deck from the Dan and Dave uh, playing card company. This is the Fulton's Clip Joint playing card deck. And basically it comes in a, a matte finished kind of a, a black box with quite a bit of embossing, uh, the bordering and uh, the clip joint playing cards. Uh, is all embossed uh, where it says Fulton's across the top there. That is done in kind of a silver foil and it looks really cool on the black um, on the black background. Uh, it has uh, on one side of the box it has uh, Fulton's clip joint Los Angeles California and on the other side it has distributed by the D&D &D, which is Dan and Dave playing card company the bottom of the box just has uh, Cambric 37 made in the USA and I'm going to assume that that Cambric 37 is the finish that they used uh, on this deck. I am not for sure on that but I know uh, there is a Cambric finish and uh, based on that I'm going to assume that uh, that's what this deck has is the Cambric finish. Along the top of the box you can see that same silver foil uh, says Fulton's along the top there. And it's uh, it's it's kind of a kind of a I don't know I don't I don't want to say it's just a real flashy box but it's kind of nostalgic looking I guess you could say it's just black it's uh, kind of basic and um, it's just kind of cool it's kind of different uh, the flap of the box has some embossing on there as you can see and if you open it up you see the little tabs here also have. A little emblem on them. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit closer on that. You can see it. It's almost like a mechanics kind of uh, kind of an emblem there, and it's got that that scroll type of lettering. Looks like an F there. Um, so that's that's basically your box. It's white on the inside and has the nice embossing. And we're gonna crack these open here, and we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the cards you get and what uh, basically the deck looks like. You can see the back it's just a lot of line work um, very kind of intricate but yet uh, luxurious looking. It's on a very nice stock has a couple of additional cards that come with it uh, Bums, Rush, Given to Rule, Breakers and Line Steppers and it's just a uh, just kind of a fun little card that they throw in there with it. Uh, you can take a peek at that. Just some reading material. It has a uh, a card with uh, design by Brad Fulton, pros uh, produced by Dan and Dave Buck, illustrated by hand by Dan Phillips. You see, and that uh, that's all that's on that card. And it does have a a clip joint back to it. You get a couple of jokers. And they are exactly alike, and they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of interesting looking, I think. They don't say Joker on them. There's no index or anything like that on them. I'll turn it sideways so you can get a better view. But it's, um, I don't know, it's its a Joker, I guess. But it's definitely different. Um, like it or hate it. It's uh, still a nice, nice looking Joker. It does come... Uh, with some interesting cards on the inside, as you can see, here's the Ace of Spades. Of course, it's got the D&D Playing Card Company down on the bottom. And the spade is kind of just got some intricate line work in, in, into it, and it's not filled in or anything. It's got your basic uh, standard bicycle pips and indexes, as you can see. Um, and one thing you want to notice, as you're going through these cards, if you look, on one pip on every card has that intricate line work. I'll show you like the four of spades. You can see it. It's just a uh, one of the one of the pips on each card is like that. You can see it on all of them. Uh, the court cards however do not have that. They do have both pips in the corners and as you can see uh, a lot of black, a lot of red as far as coloring goes. Uh, the diamonds, uh, once again, the same thing. You can see there, it's just got uh, some intricate line work in the middle there as you look at it. And all of the cards, once again, are the same thing with a pip that's like that. 
and uh, you see again black and red are the are red and kind of a silverish color uh, are the colors for the the red court cards and then once again the black goes with black and red and some silver mixed in so they're really nice clean looking uh, looking court cards I'm um, going we'll take a look at the club there's the club pip right there it's kind of kind of interesting looking and here are the heart um, cards and same thing yeah you have the one pip on each card has got uh, the kind of the, the funny design there as the as the regular cards and then you see the the heart pip there same thing it's just uh, some line work so it's it's definitely something that's kind of different kind of cool actually and the backs of the cards once again like I said I'll get you a good close look at that they're kind of interesting looking they kind of almost kind of remind me of almost like an aristocrat or something they're very a lot of intricate line work a lot of detail but yet very very luxurious looking so that is the Fulton's uh, clip joint playing card decks uh, taking a look at peak of the at some of the the regular cards in the deck now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move on to another segment here where we're gonna do a little bit on the the handling capabilities and uh, my overall assessment of the deck itself so stay tuned for that coming right up Welcome back. Uh, the Fulton's Clip Joint uh, playing card deck, like other Dan and Dave decks, uh, one thing you're going to get with this deck is a very, very awesome handling set of cards. Uh, well, I took these out and I was messing with them a little bit, and I was thoroughly impressed uh, by the way these things fan and spread. They're very, absolutely smooth. Fans on this deck come out act. I mean, almost perfect every time. They're, it, it's just an awesome deck to fan. I was really impressed. Uh, so if you're a flourisher and you like to do card flourishes and, and, and uh, you know, false cuts and, of course, ribbon spreading and fanning, you're really going to you're really gonna love this deck. This deck is just absolutely phenomenal for that. I would definitely uh, recommend picking one of these up if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, the backs, I think, could have been a little... I think they're a little bland, although there is a lot of intricate line work and stuff on the backs of these. I'll get another nice little close-up. I had one earlier in the video. But um, I think they could have did a little bit more with the backs of the cards. And I'm not the biggest um, fan of the pips, the way that they have one that's kind of with line work in it rather than filled in. I'm not a big fan of that. But... Uh, once again, Dan and Dave, uh, they, they definitely, they never fail to please when it comes to a nice, handling, flourishing deck. They are very sticklers about, um, about their cards, and once again, this deck here does not disappoint. I would definitely recommend picking up a deck or two of these. Uh, you will love the way they handle. These cards are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm going to have to pick up a couple more decks myself. So, um, well, once again, this is the Fulton's Clip Joint playing card deck. And these, of course, are from Dan and Dave. And I want you to check out my channel where I have other deck review videos as well as uh, card trick videos. I have some tutorials out there uh, by request. Um, and just a lot of card related fun stuff. I'm going to be doing some uh, card contests and giveaways here in the near future. I have one going right now. Uh, it may have ended by now, but um, I will be doing more. So definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, be sure to check out uh, the link in the description that will take you to Ace King Cards, uh, who is the guy that I purchased all of my card decks from. Uh, he has an eBay page link there in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out as well. Once again, my name is Alan. I want to thank you folks very much for watching this review. Have yourself a great day.